Hello and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today's video is going to be something a little different for the channel. Well, not so much different because I kind of done videos of this theme back about two to three years ago. It was about aliens, poltergeists and stuff like this. Since I started my TikTok, I have reached almost 25k, which is like amazing. I have reached that by doing my true passion which is conspiracy theories. And I have a really, really, really good one for you coming right up in this video today. Not only that, but I also have a very special guest joining me in this video. I have loved this content creator, this YouTuber, this queen for the past five years. Religiously, every time she posts a video, I get notified and I watch. And this YouTuber actually discovered my video on TikTok and my little conspiracy theory that I kind of formulated and she featured me in one of her YouTube videos but then we kind of got into communication and she agreed to do a little collaboration with me on this video and without further ado the YouTuber that is going to be collaborating with me today in this video is Michelle Platy. But basically what's going to happen is I'm going to talk about the theory in more depth, what I touch base on from my TikTok videos and then Michelle is going to record her segment obviously because she is in Florida and I'm in Dublin and I'm going to add it in towards the end of this video. Let's get into it. As you know, the Hollywood elite world has been really really crazy lately like the veil is coming off hollywood and the elite basically due to like the likes of epstein island and the flight log that has been disputed but i mean there's no smoke without fire it's like all the elites are having a fall from grace at the moment in particular ellen degeneres well, ellen degeneres was without a doubt like the world's sweetheart everybody i know loved her everybody loved ellen it was just a thing she was just one of these people that everybody loved up until recently when colleagues, co-workers, audience members came out to say that Ellen was most probably the most horrible human being they have ever encountered. They said the likes that she was rude, that she bullied her staff, that she undermined people, that she just was not the type of person that her TV persona made her out to be. Ellen is friends with a lot of the elites, like she's friends with Bush, President George Bush, she actually defended in one of her shows at the opening segment, she kind of defended the choices that he made in terms of like the war in Iraq and stuff like that. But that's another story, you can look that up on YouTube. All these shady things were happening with Ellen, all this new information was coming to light and then on TikTok I stumbled across a creator. Now I can't find the creator but it was a list of celebrities that were allegedly incarcerated or waiting to be incarcerated, investigated and stuff and it's all to do with like the Epstein scandal. Right? Now I don't know how true this is either, this is all just alleged, don't come for me. On that said list of incarcerated celebs, Ellen's name was on it. It wasn't just Ellen DeGeneres, it was Ellen Rothschild DeGeneres. The Rothschilds are apparently allegedly really powerful people, a really powerful family that are really really elite. I'm not going to say too much about them and um, you can do your own research. I was thinking Ellen's a Rothschild? I never I never knew that. Maybe I just it was public knowledge and I didn't know but no people went wild for this. They were like like is her whole persona a lie? Like is she totally a different person and stuff like that? So I took it upon myself. I was like okay I'm gonna look up Ellen and just see like her relations and stuff and when I looked up Ellen DeGeneres's family she was literally related to like everybody. On my TikTok videos, I had people commenting on, like, everybody is related to everybody. Like, we're all related. Oh my God, we're all related. And in my head, I was thinking, like, do you not read the comments? Can you not see that there's already 550 people that have already said, you know that everybody's related if you go far back enough. Oh, 27 cousins, that's not related. And I was just like, please read the comments. It's not about it, okay? Technically, if you're to believe the Adam and Eve theory and stuff, everybody on Earth is related. Apparently, everybody's related to King John. But... When I get more into the theory, you're going to find out why this is a bit creepy that all the big, big celebrities are related to each other. 
and related to the British royal family. I found out that Ellen DeGeneres is related to Jane Seymour, who was one of Henry VIII's wives. She's also related to Amelia Earhart, who was the first female pilot. Then I also found out that Ellen is actually related to Kate Middleton. They're related through Sir Thomas Fairfax, who lived in the 1500s. So that would make Kate and Ellen 15th cousins. And Madonna and Ellen are 11th cousins. And when I went down the rabbit hole of Ellen, I realised that there are so many other celebrities that are really famous and really related to the royal family. So Meghan Markle is related to King Edward III, so that means that she is related to the current British royal family now. So Meghan and Harry are cousins. 17th cousins to be precise. Beyonce and Johnny Depp are related and they are both related to the Queen of England. Angelina Jolie is related to King Philip II of France and Edward II of England. Hilary Duff is related to King Edward III through Alexander Spotswood, which makes her 11th cousins with the Queen. And it is said that Hilary Duff is actually the most royal American because she is so closely related to the British royal family. That's weird. I mean, the whole thing is weird, but like Hilary Duff? It's so weird. Madonna is also related to Celine Dion and the two of them are actually related to Camilla Parker Bowles, which is now Prince Charles's wife. Watch the crown, we don't like her. Angelina Jolie is also related to Madonna, Celine Dion and Camilla Parker Bowles. I knew about this Justin Bieber one for years, but I'm just gonna throw it in here anyway. It's relevant to the discussion. Justin Bieber is related to Ryan Gosling, Celine Dion and Avril Lavigne. Uma Thurman is related to King Edward of England and the Fanning sisters are also related to the Queen of England. Now this one really freaked me out. I just can't picture the two worlds ever like colliding. Uh, Princess Diana is related to the Bush family. How could something so pure be related to something so toxic? I don't know. Paris Hilton, the whole Hiltons are related to the Queen of England. They're like 28 cousins. Nikki Hilton is actually married to a Rothschild. James Rothschild, to be precise. Tom Hanks is related to King John, therefore he is related to Queen Elizabeth. The Baldwin family are 29th cousins to the Queen. Brad Pitt is related to Henry II. And so, yes, okay, so there's people saying everybody's related, but if you think about it, okay, all these people that are actually quite closely related in terms of if the whole world is related, then I feel like 29th cousins is quite close in comparison to what it could be. As Michelle said in her video that she featured me in, the percentage of the population that is famous is 0.0086%. So that is to say almost no one is famous. So almost no one is famous, but yeah, all these famous people are like quite closely related. That's my point. And it gets even creepier because now we're going to discuss the bloodline and the blood type. So Reese's negative is the rarest blood type on earth, specifically AB negative. Reese's negative blood baffles scientists to this day because they don't know where it originated from. Now, they thought that Reese's positive blood originated from the Reese's monkey, but apparently that's been debunked. I don't know, look it up. Reese's negative blood, they don't know where that came from and they still don't know where that came from regardless of Reese's positive not coming from a monkey. So there is a region in France called Basque and yes, as I've been told in my TikTok comments, there is also a Basque in Spain and apparently they kind of are in close proximity or they're the one region where half of it is in Spain, half of it is in France, okay? Just want to clear that up before anyone comes for me again. The Basque region in France has the highest rate of rhesus negative blood types in the world. If you've ever heard of the reptilian conspiracy theory, David Icke actually came up with this, okay? Very interesting man. He believes that reptilians, which were closely related to dinosaurs, but from a different star seed, basically like evil aliens, okay? They can shapeshift, so they can shapeshift into human beings and they can mimic humans. He believes that the elites of the world, let's talk American presidents, royal family, celebrities, are all reptilians. I used to think this theory was absolutely wild, but then 
there was a group of people in Australia, okay? Like a group of fans, like a hundred fans, when Justin Bieber was touring in Australia on one of his tours and Justin Bieber got out of the car and apparently all this collective of fans said that they witnessed with their own eyes Justin Bieber shape shift into a reptilian like figure and then immediately shift back into Justin Bieber's body. Allegedly the security guards were extremely aggressive with the fans and told all of them to delete the footage off the phone or they were going to be prosecuted or worse. This made headlines all over Australia and then reached the rest of the world. In Justin Bieber's deposition when he was in trouble with the law there is a video footage of what looks like his eyes for a split nanosecond like glitched and they look like what you would akin to a crocodile so a reptilian and then quickly turn back to his normal eye there's also been instances of the shape-shifting eyes and stuff with a lot of other celebrities like Miley Cyrus, Katy Perry and recently a politician, I don't know what politician it was but I seen the clip, she was, I think she was an American or Canadian politician and they were in like a boardroom and she was sitting down talking and her eyes done the whole little glitch to a reptilian and glitch back so look that up. There's also a lot of speculation about Joe Biden um, that he is also an elite reptilian. At his inauguration, there was footage of him standing there still. Like he had a glitch, like he was a clone or something and a glitch. Like he stood there for like minutes, just so still, it didn't blink, nothing. It was actually live streaming on the news at the time and the news reporters were like, okay, what's, what's wrong with him? We have that little reptilian theory out there just so you understand the next parts that I'm gonna talk about. As I've said, I just wanna reiterate that this is all a fun conspiracy theory. I'm not saying I believe it. I'm not saying you should believe it. You should always do your own research and always have an open mind, but I'm just discussing similarities, you know, that I've noticed. And I'm just relaying information that I found on the internet that is very, very readily available to the public. So I have the list of US presidents that were RH negative. President Eisenhower was RH negative. JFK was RH negative. Nixon was RH negative. Reagan, George W. Bush, Clinton, Obama, and Trump, all RH negative blood. And all of these presidents can be traced back as to being related to each other. I'm not sure about Trump actually, but all the others, the royals that are RH negative are the Queen, Prince Charles, Prince William, Prince Harry, Meghan Markle, Kate Middleton, and Princess Diana. Princess Diana was AB negative, which is the rarest of all. Marilyn Monroe was AB negative as well. Jim Morrison was negative. Britney is A negative. Kurt Cobain, Johnny Depp, Meryl Streep, all RH negative. Clint Eastwood, OJ Simpson, Leonardo DiCaprio. I guess what I'm trying to say here is, do you have to have two sets of criteria to make it in either Hollywood as a politician or basically to just be an elite member of society? Do you have to be related to the royal British family? But do you have to be closely related and be an RH negative blood type to make it in the elite Hollywood world? I mean, it's a really, really interesting conspiracy theory. That's the gist of what I wanted to just speak about and now I am going to hand it over to Michelle and Michelle is going to speak about her views on the theory and what she thinks is plausible, what she thinks isn't plausible and just give her a take overall. So yeah. So the reason that I find the bloodline theory to be so interesting is because I just feel like it's a little too weird that so many celebrities are related just because so little of the population is famous and it's already hard to like get you know a celebrity status especially like people who are super big like Madonna like Justin Bieber like all these people and the fact that they're like all related to each other and also the royal family who the royal family are actually just like born into fame is something about that just doesn't sit right with me <laughs> um but I don't really know what theory I necessarily like believe for this you know bloodline conspiracy i think that i don't know because i always say that i don't like to believe that celebrities are part of the illuminati but maybe they are maybe it's like naturally like what is like like literally like a bloodline <laughs> me using the actual phrase but maybe it is like actually meant to be like kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy that these people would become famous and that's kind of scary to think about that like everything has been like predetermined 
I hate theories like that <laughs> because they freak me out. But it's kind of true. Like, I just think that it's so interesting that so many celebrities have different connections to each other. And it's just bizarre. Like, if you actually think about it, it's bizarre. There's 7 billion people on the planet. Like, 0.86% of the population or something ridiculous are celebrities. So, like, why are they all the one, like why are they all related what think about it <laughs> think about how weird that is and you'll probably start believing in the illuminati too because i don't know about that so that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and liked a little bit of a conspiracy vibe that we got going on that i had such a fun time filming this and yeah i just basically wanted to talk about it on youtube rather than just like a 60 second consecutive clips on tiktok sometimes that can kind of get lost and people can find the next part and stuff like that so yeah that's basically my theory but as i said it's just a theory and all of the information that i compiled into this video and pieced together is literally all readily available for the masses on the world wide web so do your own research i always urge people to do your own research and make of it what you will do you agree with this theory do you think it's absolute ridiculous let me know in the comments down below but remember always be nice yeah you can always get your point across and your opinion across in a nice way you don't have to be nasty don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you can be notified when i drop a new video also don't forget to subscribe to michelle's youtube channel she has some absolutely amazing conspiracy theories and mysteries on that channel so you don't want to miss out also follow me on tiktok so you can be updated on little mini conspiracy theory videos so thank you and bye